Hi, this is Jen, and today I'm standing in front of a, a device called a CCTV, which stands for Closed Circuit Television, also called a Video Magnifier. And what it is, is a device um, for, as a visual aid, that is um, a camera inside here. And it is a camera that projects an image onto a tray called an XY tray. And then that image appears either on a screen, it can appear on an actual television, it can, can appear on um, a computer monitor. Um, what the CCTV or video magnifier does is it projects that image and I've got a bill under here. Now my CCTV, I don't use it all that much. I used it much more in the past when I had more eyesight but I do use it on occasion. I can, it can help me with some images, but I did want to show you how it worked. So on the tray, I put, um, I put a bill here and it, it blows that image up. And then I look up here on the screen and can see it. These video magnifiers can be also come as handheld devices. And that makes them useful for, because you bring the device to the object. And you can even get a rolling um, tray for that. But that's handy if you need to look at, say, uh, a can or um, a label of some kind, right? So some of the features of a CCTV. On this, I have an on-off switch. CCTVs always come with the contrast of black on white or white on black. But some of them, like this one, also come in different colors. And I can change those colors around. Let's see if I can get it. And use it to find the color that works best for me. Okay, and I can let me invert that again. There. This CCTV also has autofocus, meaning when I put the object underneath the, onto the tray, the XY tray, the image will automatically focus in. Now you can purchase CCTVs that don't have that feature and they are significantly less. Um, another feature is, let's see, um, what is that? I can't remember. Oh, I know the distance. Um, I can use the CCTV and blow the image up and make it very close, or I can move the image distant. And again, I apologize, but I haven't used this much, and it appears that my, um, the magnification is a bit stuck. Um, so you can also get a CCTV or vi video magnifier. Uh, you can get add-ons for this piece of equipment. And the add-on that I have plugs into the back, and this one is a calculator or a 10 key, and it has three different functions, or two different functions, so there's the calculator, and the image shows up on the screen. Um, it also can program, I can program in the date. Now, I don't use this because I don't use this piece of equipment very often, but you can plug in the date, and you can plug in um, the time if you'd like, okay? And that's one add-on feature. There are more than that. There are some you can get add-ons that are maps, um, which are not, uh, kind of nice. Another feature that I like about this add-on is that it gives me lines. For one, because with a CCTV or a video magnifier, every once in a while, it's nice to have it if you need to sign something. And uh, it's nice to have that straight line. So another feature I have here is I can create a line to write on and let me see I'll see if I can demonstrate this for you so I put my piece of paper under here and your hand should fit right on the tray underneath the camera which is up above and you should be able to see now I, have, I don't have the eyesight for this but let me I've written my name there and I can use that line if I want to line it up haha -ha. These lines also can go um, this way if I want to make columns. And those columns can be moved closer together, farther apart, right? They can be moved from left to right. 
And the XY tray underneath can be moved from left to right. If you want to read a book under here, you can simply slide the tray back and forth. And again, this is a device that is portable as well. There are handheld video magnifiers as well. And that's handy to have. Okay, so let's talk about price for a minute. These devices are not cheap. To get one with the autofocus, you're probably looking at anywhere from $1,800 all the way up to $4,000, depending on the various features. If you want to get a simpler one that plugs right into a television screen and is handheld, then you're looking at probably $400 to $1,000. So where can you go or where do you go to next if you are interested in looking, um, taking the next step toward purchasing one of these? My recommendation to you is to find your local resource first. Again, you can Google local vision resources near me, or you can pick up the phone and dial 211. For me, the local vision resource was in Portland, Maine, and I was able to go into a video lab that they had there uh, at the Iris Network and take a look at various monitors with different features and decide from there what I wanted, okay? Um, and they may even be able to give you some um, ideas if there's a possible discount or funding available. Another resource, if you are stuck and can't find something that way, check with your eye doctor. They may have, uh, that office may have um, some resources as well. Okay. So good luck to you. Again, CCTV or video magnifier. This is Jen signing off. Bye.